Yo, 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 High Ridge Handyman's in the house. <laughs> With my boy Sonny. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? All right, today it's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. Got a job, very nice piece of property. It's a town away from mine, and uh, again, no job is too small for High Ridge Handyman. All right, what we have here is we have a nice wooden screen door was sticking plate the glass uh, plate here was loose and we're gonna change the piston arm on here okay see some of it just came right out all right and uh, we have a little touching at the bottom so we're gonna give this a light sanding and we're gonna have some touch-up paint and with the new piston tighten the, uh, the window here and uh, clean it up make sure it operates properly uh, we're good to go prepare yourself all right we got our sander we got the sander radio okay drill you know what you know what we have here the new piston arm and always have paper towels in case you got to wipe something up when i do the touch-up paint i'll just put a few pieces of paper towel at the bottom i don't have a drop cloth right now just so it doesn't end up on the flagstone and then we're going to do some uh, wood filling down at the second uh, house on the property all right, so stay tuned, and that's it. All right, after doing a little bit of sanding, okay, opens up nice, tighten up the bolts, tighten up the glass, doesn't shake anymore, okay? I put the new piston in, okay? It shuts nice and easy, doesn't stick. before it was stick it's nice and loose and it's doing its job all right well that's it let's move on to the next one what you want to do before you leave jobs like this see the threshold there we're going to touch that up with some white paint just clean it up so it looks nice okay that'll be it have some of these on your trailer and in your truck they're only i don't know a dollar maybe 50, 75 cents home depot okay do a little touch up we found some white in the garage mixed it up i'm just going to go over it real quick and then you can dispose of this it's no big deal remember it's the little things that bring the customers back so attention to detail if you can all right so part two of this job here which is pretty cool um this particular customer has a few uh houses on the property so we're going to head to the second one um, and we're gonna patch up some holes made by, I think they're either bees or hornets. If you know what they are out there, comment at the bottom. But they have a cedar a soffit underneath a, a garage. Uh, I think it's a two car garage, it's a pretty sweet piece of property. But we're gonna, I'm gonna start uh, patching up the holes with some wood filler, okay? Right under here, plastic wood, okay? That'll be it. I'll talk to you soon. All right, so this is it here. If you look, you got to keep an eye out, but you see the holes here? Where are they? It's right there, okay. I know my camera's shaky, but I will be getting a new one soon. Just got to look around for all the damage. And we're going to fill it in. Okay, and we got some over here. All right, so let me set up. Got some on the edges. Make sure you uh, check out your area so you don't fall, get hurt. And we could set up a step stool here. It's not too high. Uh, I would say it's about eight, nine, eight feet. All right, let me grab what I need and we'll get to it. All right, it's pretty basic. You're going to grab your plastic wood okay it'll dry natural um, I inform the customer it's not, not going to dry perfect you might have to come back and stain if she'd like okay but you're going to open this up you're going to grab yourself a little knife you're going to scoop some on there and then you're just going to fill in the holes okay it's pretty pretty basic so let me get to work and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished all right the ceiling is done you know, all the patchworks, there was a bunch of holes, more than I thought, but they're all filled in. Okay, 
lightly sanded. Okay, you can see all the spots. They've been sanded, and all they have to do is get this stained. Might stain it in the spring, I'll talk to her. We could stain the whole ceiling over. Looks like it could use it, hasn't been done in a while. And this damage here is already contracted out. I would have done it myself, but this gutter is a little over 45 feet long, and there's no way I can get it here. So I got a roofing friend who's gonna come, they're gonna set up a truck, and he's gonna change the uh, fascia board. You can see where it's a little bit rotted and chipped up. Um, but that's it. Small jobs, I'll tell you, they're, they're the good ones to get. Um, attention to detail, do the best you can, and you'll get people to call you back. All right, well, that's it. Um, one thing I want to talk about, and the most important thing is subscribe, all right? Share, like, hit that bell for further uh, notifications. And the next job that comes out, bam, you're going to get it in two seconds, all right? I will talk to you soon. Everybody out there, be safe. And again, I appreciate all the new, all the new subscribers. And if you're a handyman out there just starting off and it's a little slow, don't give up. Attention to detail. And trust me, you'll get jobs, more jobs than you can handle. All right, we'll talk to you soon.